How to test a strategy in trading view. Hello traders, this is Igor from FX Secret YouTube channel. And today I have one wonderful idea. I want to present uh, several good strategies that you can use in trading view and to analyze, to learn, maybe to apply in your live trading. So today it is the video number one, how to test, how to back test your strategy and how to use this wonderful tool on trading view. So let me start from the beginning. What I want to show right now is if you have a free account on trading view, you can have a free indicators, free strategies, free any kind of form of uh, technical analysis tools on your chart. What it means is if you go to indicators, for example, I want to use one indicator, two indicators, three indicators. And if you want to add another one, you will see this. So you can have at most three indicators or, or two indicators and one expert advisor, etc., etc. So remember this. If you get this message, the best thing is just to go here and just to remove all that indicators that you don't want to use. I will do that. I will remove all these indicators and right now my chart is empty. So always keep to have at most three things, either indicators, either, either scripts on your chart. So this is the lesson number one. The lesson number two is the first indicator that you should, the, the first script that you should back test is moving average cross. So uh, you can use moving average two line cross. I will just add this on my chart. Uh, what I want to do right now is I will add another indicator, simple moving average cross right now here like this. OK, and I will just remove this script right now. Just you can see what we will do. OK, so for the beginner traders, I want to tell you that moving average strategy cross is the simplest, the simplest and mo most the first one strategy that you will see in trading. Um, right now you see on the chart the green and the yellow line. And you see when you cross the green and yellow line, we can see the trend. For example, right now here, we have a cross of the green and yellow line. And from that cross, we can see the bullish trend. This cross level is the best level to buy. Here, we can see the yellow and green line cross. And this is the level where we can sell because it's beginning of the bearish trend. So from this, point to this point we have a sell trade from this point in the March 23 up today we have a bullish trend so this is the very simple way how moving average average works um, however in in strategy when you have a script and use the script we have a two expression we have a slow line and the fast line the slow line is the bigger one for example 20 can be slow line and 10 can be the fast line so we just learn everything about moving average cross this moving average cross is as you can see 9 and 21 just 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 to show this is the short one i can put a 10 and the long one i could put the bigger number it will be 50 right now on the chart you see different different chart you can see just to put a little bit perspective like this okay now you can see here you have a bullish trend very strong bullish trend and bearish trend and bullish trend etc etc so this is the very simple now let me talk about back testing in the trading view i'm back here in indicators i will put the cross now i will choose the script that call moving average to line cross and we have a strategy in strategy tester right here strategy tester i will just press again you can put it down you can put it up i will go to the overview and in the overview we can see the profit factor is 1.289 so 1.3 almost this this a strategy has of course we need to do a lot of modifications in the properties when i test the strategies why i never trade with contracts why because 
if some if some strategy is profitable i want to increase the amount that i risk for example if i trade with the one mini lot i don't want to trade 50 years one mini lot i want to trade using percentage so always you can choose his percentage of equity and i risk one percent so what i did i just set here in properties order size one percent of the equity percent of the equity so this is it in inputs we have 918 as you can see our profit factor on daily chart is 1.2 what you can do right now we have a daily chart of course this is the daily chart as you can see but you can always switch and open some other some other kind of of a time frame four hour or uh, maybe weekly chart etc etc right here just uh, beside this plus here you can choose one day one week one month for example if i switch to one week my strategy will change and we'll see that profit factor is 1.4 so my strategy has a better profit factor if i trade on the weekly chart if i go on for example one hour chart you will see that my profit factor is one so what we can learn here moving average strategies is much better on on higher time frames from the daily weekly etc etc however there is uh, some tricks here you can test a lot of inputs on youtube right now if you search a lot of videos related to how to back test uh, on trading view you will get a lot of guys that do coding so you will see coding videos how to write a code and back test i don't want to do that why because we have a hundreds and hundreds almost finished scripts expert advisors so they're finished and you just need to change the inputs to get the strategy that you like so it's much easier without coding to change in inputs right now here this wheel this is the settings wheel i can go and change the properties like i said i set the percentage of equity and i can do the inputs right now what i will do i will put here 50 and 200 okay it's a lousy profit factor but i will go to the daily chart voila we have a profit factor almost 1.4 1.38 so it's a it's a solid it's a solid profit factor just to check is it yes it's a percentage of equity i can switch to the day to weekly chart to see it's better no it's much worse so this daily strategy is the best to use 200 moving average only on daily chart because a lot of big dogs excellent traders retail not just retail traders uh, the traders from the hedge funds they use 200 moving average and very very important indicate so when price breaks 200 moving average i think that 90 percent of traders will tell you oh we are going in a bullish trend because this moment is very important and on the daily chart 200 moving average is very important like i said 200 moving average but on the daily chart and here you can play i can put for example 20 just to see what will happen the profit factor is much better so 20 and 200 is much better variation because we'll have a profit factor factor 1.565 so you can play with this and see and what is the most excellent thing is list of trades look this so we have from the december of 2022 the last trade and the first trade look this 1972 90 so 50 years of trading more than 50 years of trading stats you have here in trading view just one second of course uh if you want to change the date range for example you just want to five years 10 years you don't want 50 years it's mistake from my point of view but if you want to do that you cannot easily do that in trading view if you want you need a code he's a pine editor i just put i just write one code where you can you can set from date inputs and to date inputs and you can put the years for example right now i want uh, 
test from the 2018 to 2019 you see and uh, you can you can uh, you can always change um uh, for example i just didn't want to say very good from the 97 to the 2018 i can change here for example to test the strategy from 2015 to 2018 so you can you can play with numbers using the script and i will put uh, my script on the on the, my page, website page, you will have a link uh, to the web page about this whole video and you can use this code if you need this. But my suggestion is do not change date range because uh, the bigger date range overview, it's a better. You know, if you create a strategy that 50 years is a perfect strategy, it's a good strategy. You know, much better to have a good strategy in 50 years than good strategy on two years because that two years are not convincing for me. So I don't bother you anymore with this. I just want to 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 check about strategies. So my goal is to create a lot of videos on this topic and create and show some excellent in excellent expert advisors, excellent scripts in trading view that you can use, have a profitable trades and a profitable strategy that is proven profitable strategy in the last 50 years. So this is the this is the great thing. So right now, okay, we just develop one good strategy. When we have a profit factor about 1.5, we can say that it's a pretty good. So this strategy right now that you're watching right now to fast moving average 20 slow 200 on the daily chart on british pound dollar is a profitable strategy so i just want to check what will happen here if i change and instead of british pound dollar i put for example for example aussie dollar i just want to see i'm just curious wow it's a profitable strategy to 1.5 so when you see that your strategy is profit on euro dollar british pound dollar aussie dollar kiwi dollar on all dollar pairs it's a good sign and if you see it, it's a 50 years profitable wow it's so this strategy is very good and just want to see one thing uh, when you talk about uh, what is the net profit Net profit, if you risk 1%, is uh, $10,000. And uh, gross profit is 28, but you have a gross loss with 18, so we get a net profit of $10,000. Of course, a crazy trader that risks a lot, they can set like this. For example, they can risk 10%. It's a stupid, of course, but we'll see what will happen. And you can earn $100 thousand dollars and you risk a lot and uh your overview will be profit factor 1.5 of course but you will have a 100 closer trades in 50 years and you will have um uh, a very good profit to 100 thousand dollars so so as you can see my advice is always to put one percent we not be we don't want to be a greedy but uh i just want to show you how profitable trades can can work of course, in next videos, I will talk only about profitable scripts and profitable trades. In TradingView, backtesting is a simple. Press the button or change the inputs and this is it. So you don't have some complicated things here. But I just want to show you that there is a lot of strategies that are not, how I to say, they're not profitable and you think it's profitable for example let me talk about bulgur bands strategy buy from the bottom sell from the high bulgur, bulgur bands strategy i would just bulgur band strategy this is it for example in 50 years if we check on daily chart you can see something like this profit factor almost one percent so um of course i didn't put a bulgur bands but this is the uh, when price touch the band and you sell from the from the high point and you buy from the low pound on the Bulger band and uh, you can see it's not profitable. Uh, the same thing if you try to do, for example, relative strength index strategy like this. I just put relative strength index on the chart. Okay. And I will put, for example, relative strength index strategy. Look like this, for example, how this strategy works on the relative strength index is a moving average with a, a yellow line where that yellow line 
cross above a relative strength index or below, we are getting in the buy or the sell trade. If the relative strength index is below 50 and cross this, this yellow line, we are buying. If it's above, we are selling, as you can see. And you can see here the profit factor is 0.86. That means that we have a losing trade using this strategy on the daily chart. But if you apply this on the 30 minutes it's much better so this is strategy maybe for uh for uh different time frames this strategy you can use for example if you want on the five minute charts as you can see if you use a on the five minute chart the profit factor is 1.44 so every single strategy can apply in different time span range etc but the most important thing is uh, you need to test, you need to try, you need to check all these things. Um, the problem with TradingView limitation is that you ha you can have at most 2,000 trades. And this can be a little bit problem because for the, lo for the lower time frame, uh, for the time frames like five minutes, one minute, you need to have a millions of trades if you want to be sure it's a um, strategy is profitable. With 2,000 trades, you will not be sure, and sometimes you'll get much better results than it can be in reality. For the long time trades, weekly, daily, monthly, the trading view is a perfect. So what I want to tell you is, in the beginning, if you want to play a little bit and test back, back test the, the strategies on the trading view, use the daily chart or maybe one hour chart and use a cross cross moving average two line cross strategy to play a little bit to enjoy this because this strategy is um is a good for beginner traders and maybe for the experienced traders just to test to see is some strategy is smart or not because in this case you can eliminate some moving averages, some combinations, and do not watch at all. So my advice is try, test, switch to different, different. You can you can apply these strategies on stocks if you want. Of course, you can you can go to indices. Indices, for example, um, S and P five hundred like this, and you can see, for example, that. Um, that S&P 500 and I apply on a daily chart and I set for example inputs on um, 2200 like this you can see that the profit factor is almost 2 so you can get much better results on indexes or stocks not just the forex so play with this enjoy and this is the best thing and in the next videos Please watch, I will show you one very, very profitable strategy in TradingView and I think that you will enjoy. I wish you a great day and bye-bye.